You know, we need unions now more than we have in the past, right? It's not a diminishing need. I think there's an increasing need. I'm happy to be a USA member. I'm happy that USA is there to advocate for us. The union offered me more opportunities than my manager ever could. In the beginning, uh, USA was, uh, well, and still is an association, but it was not unionized. When we were organizing originally, I had a visit from one of the vice presidents of the university. He asked me to cease and desist organizing, and that I was a woman obsessed. We said, you know what, uh, I think we have to unionize. When we uh, got to talking about what we were doing and in this very innocent way started going around and meeting with uh, the staff, most of whom were women, at lunchtime and talking about their working conditions. And then, of course, there was a big uh, excitement for me when, when I received a letter from the president of York University barring me from the campus. Um, when I think of unions, I, I think of those pictures of the Depression in the 20s and 30s and how, you know, there was a lot of, uh, like, Woody Guthrie songs and you, you were for the union, you were a union man, or you were against the unions because you were this uh, rich, fat cat. Um, I think uh, almost 100 years later, it's kind of the same thing. Fifty years is a very long time, and there's been a lot that the membership has gone through. It's incredible that USA is turning 50. It's an incredible tribute to the work that has been done before us. really strong as it is. It's, it's a strong foundation. We can definitely build on it. USA Pui will continue to be this strong, independent union that fights for the workers' rights. 